The tosylate group is often used in organic chemistry and it is used because it is a very good leaving group. So the question that we briefly want to discuss in this lecture is what makes the tosylate group such an excellent leaving group? So let's begin our discussion by examining the structure of the tosylate group. So the tosylate group is abbreviated with the OTS where O is the oxygen and the TS is this entire group here. So we have the oxygen which is bonded on both sides. On this side we have some type of hydrocarbon and on this side we have the rest of our molecule, the tosylate molecule. So we have a sulfur which is double bonded to two of these oxygens and the other bond is with this benzene that contains our methyl group on the fourth position relative to this position number one. And this entire molecule is our tosylate group. So let's suppose we have some type of hydrocarbon, let's say a three chain hydrocarbon, a three carbon chain hydrocarbon. And so we have on the third carbon attached our tosylate group. So this group is basically an excellent leaving group and that means it can detach or it can be kicked off via the SN2 reaction. The question is what makes this group such an excellent leaving group? And to answer this question, let's take a look at the reaction mechanism. Let's suppose we have some hydrocarbon, let's designate that with our R symbol where R stands for the hydrocarbon. In this case, the R is a membered carbon chain. So we have a bond to our oxygen as shown here and we have the oxygen which is bonded to our sulfur which is double bonded to an oxygen on both sides as shown and this sulfur contains a benzene ring and the benzene ring is bonded to our methyl. This is our tosylate. So in the first step what happens is this bond breaks off because it's relatively weak as a result of this entire group on this side of our oxygen. So this breaks off, the two electrons end up on oxygen and this R gains a positive charge so it becomes an open carbocation. <coughs> So one of the molecules that is formed is the R and this contains a positive charge. The other molecule is this molecule here that breaks off. So we have our oxygen which now contains three pairs of lone electrons so we have a negative charge on this oxygen. And of course we also have the rest of this molecule so we have the S. The S is double bonded on both sides to our two other oxygens and here we have our benzene ring and then we have this methyl group. So what makes this so special? What makes this such an excellent leaving group? Well, not only is this bond relatively weak, but the product or the intermediate that is formed is resonance stabilized. This electric charge, negative electric charge, can be distributed among these other two atoms, these other two oxygen atoms. So basically, if these two electrons end up making a double bond between this oxygen and this oxygen, we can either kick off this or this pi bond. Let's suppose this pi bond breaks off and it goes onto this oxygen here. So in this case, we form our oxygen that contains a double bond with the sulfur, but now this oxygen here bears our negative charge. And this also has our double bond. This is bonded to our benzene with our methyl group. So we have a negative charge that is distributed onto this one. Now instead, if this one breaks off, so if this forms a double bond, but this one breaks off, in the third resonance stabilized structure we see that our charge can end up on this third oxygen here. So in this case, our molecule looks something like this. So we have a double bond between these two oxygens, but on this oxygen we have a negative charge. And so let's put a negative charge on this oxygen and let's draw the rest of our molecule. We have the benzene ring 
as shown, and we have our methyl group. And so this concludes our resonance structures, and we see that what actually makes the tosylate group such an excellent leaving group is the fact that when it detaches or is kicked off nucleophilically, this intermediate that is formed is stabilized by resonance. There is a delocalization of electric charge taking place and the negative charge spreads out among these three electronegative oxygen atoms. And so this is a very stabilizing phenomenon.